If you're as excited about SvelteKit as I am, I'm sure you want to learn everything you can before it releases. Today, we're going to learn how to use layouts in SvelteKit. Hello, hello YouTube. My name is Braden Gerard, and today I'm going to show you how we can get started using layouts in SvelteKit. So SvelteKit is not officially released yet, but could be released any day. And if you're like me, you probably want to have a jump start on the framework so you can start building awesome things with it. So like many other front end frameworks, SvelteKit has the concept of layouts. So when you have pages that have repetitive content on them, for example, a header or a footer that is on every single page, you don't want to duplicate that code or necessarily have to abstract it out into components and then keep including those components on every page. Instead, you can have a layout that just inserts that content or rather wraps every all the rest of your content uh, inside of this repetitive content like a header and footer. So you can re repeat that on every page without having to either import components on every page or actually write the HTML on every page. So let's dive into the code and take a look at how we can do layouts in SvelteKit. Okay, so I just have a default SvelteKit project set up with the CLI, which if you're not sure how to get a project set up by default, I have a video on that. So take a look on my channel for getting started with SvelteKit. Now, once you have that default project set up, you're gonna to wanna to create a, another page just so we can navigate between pages and I can show you that we can include content on both pages in a layout. So in this case, I created an about page with an index here that just says, this is the about page. So if I look at my SvelteKit app currently, I have a hello world page, which is the default home page. And then if I go to forward slash about, I also have an about page. So let's say we wanna put a nav so we can actually navigate between those pages without typing in the URL. So if I go over here and go into my components, we can create a new component and we will call that nav.svelte. And then inside of that component, we will put just a nav element and in between those nav blocks, we will put a link. So one going to home, and we'll just say home, and then we'll also put one going to about. And we'll just say that is equal to forward slash about. Now that I have a link going to both, we can include this component into our index. So we will import that, import nav from dollar sign components. So that dollar sign components gives us the path to this components directory, then nav.svelte. And then I can use that in the page by putting it up at the top and we'll just say nav. And if I save that, now there is an issue with hot reloading on Windows subsystem Linux, which is currently the system I'm running this on. So I just have to restart my server and if I go back to my home page now, we see I have a nav with home and about. If I click on about, it goes to the about page. Perfect. Now I don't have the nav up here. I could include it on my about page as well by importing the nav, um, putting it into the about page just like I did here on the index. But I don't want to have to do that on every new page that I create. So what can I do? I can create a layout. So inside of my uh, source folder here, I will create a layout. Um, sorry, so actually inside the routes folder, I'll be creating the layout, not inside the source. So inside routes, I'm gonna make a new file and I'm going to say dollar sign layout.svelte, dot svelte. Okay, and that signals that this is a layout file. So inside of that layout file, um, we can put whatever we want. So let's just copy over for now everything that's on my index page. And we'll put that into the layout file and the way the layout file works is that it'll basically wrap any of the route pages inside of the layout. So if I want my content from either my index page on home or my, or my about index page to be inside of my layout, I have to say where I want it to be put into the layout. So in this case, you would use a slot. So if I create a slot here, Okay, that's where it's gonna inject my content. So let's set this up. Um, I'm going to remove all of the homepage content because I don't need that in my layout. That'll be in my homepage. Uh, I'll leave the nav because we want that on every page. I don't need the counter. So we could do something like that. 
so that every page is now wrapped in a main with a nav and then my content gets injected here. Now I'm not using counter anymore, so I'll remove that script. And we have some unused styles here, so I'll also remove those as well as these are all unused, so I can completely remove this. All right, so that cleans up our layout. Um, so now this layout should let every page uh, be injected here with it where this slot is um, and then have a nav already with a main wrapping it uh, already applied. So if I go back over to my index page, now we don't want all of this content duplicated. So we can get rid of the main, we can get rid of the nav, uh, we can keep the rest of this stuff. So let's just put that there. And we do no longer need this nav being imported. And we have some unused styles here because we don't have main anymore in our home page. And the rest of that looks good. And then if I go over to my about page, that all looks fine. So now if I go back over here and I restart my server, which you shouldn't have to do this. Um, just like I said, there is a bug right now. Um, if I go over to the home, uh, we see that I now have a nav. And if I go over to my about, we see that I also have an about on my, or sorry, a nav on my about page. So you can see that both my pages now have this nav in it, and that's thanks to this layout. Now, if I were to create additional pages, so let's say I made a new page called, um, I don't know, contact. So we make a contact folder. We make a index.svelte file inside of that. And then I, let's just put a header saying, this is the contact page, okay? And when I go back to my site and refresh, well, first we gotta actually get a way to link to that page, but if I go to forward slash contact, you'll see that I also have the nav in my contact page, thanks to the layout. So all I would need to do now is go back to my nav component and change that nav component to have a contact button on it. And now, because of the magic of layouts, all of my pages will have this contact link. And there we go. Now my contact page has a contact link, my home page has a contact link, my about page has a contact link. Okay? So you can see how beneficial layouts can be, especially when you have a lot of repetitive content on every page. Usually headers are much more complex than a basic nav like this, and you usually have a footer on every page. So that's a good start for layouts, but you can even get more complex with layouts and start embedding them inside of each other. We're not gonna look at that for now because I'm not even sure how that's gonna look in SvelteKit at this point, but definitely in a future video, once SvelteKit is released, we can talk more about layouts. Thanks for sticking with me for another one of my tutorial videos. I'm super glad that you were able to stick around till the end. If you enjoyed this layouts video on SvelteKit, then give this video a thumbs up. And if you like these tutorial videos or anything else that I might have on my channel, give us subscribe so that you can take a look at any of the new content that I'm releasing week to week. Thanks, have a great day.